Now over in South Walton County, Independence Day is celebrated with music, food, and of course floats. News 13's Peyton Lo Cicero shows us how the early morning parade rolled out the red, white, and blue. Let the good times roll. The annual seaside parade kicked off the 4th of July festivities here in South Walton. From boat floats and bicycles to golf carts and cars, this year's parade was bigger and better than ever. Happy 4th of July! Braving the heat, a record number of visitors lined the streets to watch the parade. We want to come down here and watch the parade and go crazy! <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Woo! The parade in general, we've never been to a 4th of July parade. We're at Seaside, is. it doesn't get any better than this. South Walton homeowners got together back in the 80s and decided to start a 38 parade to celebrate America's birthday at the beach. I think it's just decades of memories for a lot of people. You know, we get a lot of multi-generation families, uh, people that have been coming here with their kids, kids. The parade feels like a quaint, old-fashioned small town affair that draws big crowds. Bicycles, golf carts, cars, and unique floats took over County Highway 30A. A crowd favorite this year was recently crowned Miss Destin. It's all the smiles. Everybody like so proud to be a part of the USA and everyone's just so happy. Now people from all over the country travel to Florida's Panhandle to experience this 4th of July tradition that has captivated visitors and locals for almost 40 years. The fun will continue into the night with a musical performance starting at 5 and fireworks over the Gulf at 8.30. I'm News 13's Peyton Lo Cicero, Panhandle Strong.